Welcome to this edition of the Dean's Video Newsletter. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about simulation programs here at the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry. Many of you will be aware of the programs that we offer here uh, that have some aspect of simulation integrated into them, but it's a very much larger program than many people realize. As a medical school, uh, we are required to have aspects of our curriculum delivered using simulation, whether it be here, for instance, in the Ricks uh, Clinical Skills Building, where we actually have patients who are simulated patients will come and help our students learn how to do interviews, aspects of physical exams and such, or whether it's the much more advanced surgical simulations such as what we see at CSTAR, uh, there's an incredible breadth between those two. We've made a conscious decision here that simulation will be not only an integral component of our curriculum, but it will in fact be something that we are building education and teaching scholarship around. Virtually every department has some aspect of simulation now being utilized. You're going to see a great deal happening over the next little while with this uh, under the leadership of Dr. Denstadt and an entire team from across our faculty uh, as well as other faculties. You're going to see a concentrated program that becomes one of the keynotes fits with our strategic plan uh, for our excellence with that. There's a lot of work currently underway in the school to uh, improve our simulation programs uh, and our facilities. Uh, we have uh, an entire organizational structure set up now to provide uh, oversight for our planning and the use of simulation in uh, training of our students. Uh, in fact, we're undertaking a strategic planning exercise that will inform uh, the simulation activities for the next five years for the medical school and we expect the strategic plan will be available uh, this fall. Of course, like any program, we want to uh, increase the uptake generally across all of our training programs. Uh, we want to expand our programs into new areas. I think we have a lot of opportunity to increase uh, interdisciplinary training. So medical students with nursing and other uh, aspects of the healthcare team. Uh, we also hope to improve our uh, facilities. Uh, this is occurring across the world where new and expanding uh, facilities are being created for simulation and that's our goal as well as to be sure we have world-class facilities here in London. Our local activities in simulation also connect to some of uh, the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry's activities on the other side of the world. Uh, we have a lot of uh, experience here in simulation-based training. Uh, and it gives us the opportunity to uh, begin to disperse that type of education training, assist others uh, elsewhere in the world, uh, learn best practices. Uh, and we have a lot to learn from people on the other side of the world uh, to bring that back and incorporate into our own training programs. So I think we will see uh, an increased amount of activity as relates simulation also connected to the internationalization efforts of the school. There is just uh, great research work occurring in uh, simulation-based uh, activity, particularly in the SERI Center, the Center for Education, Research and Innovation. And what that does, it feeds back into our own programs to see how we can improve those programs to uh, increase the impact of those programs and the overall training experience. Uh, we're also focused, as are many others, on the return on investment uh, in simulation facilities and programs. Uh, this requires a lot of uh, investment uh, and as yet, because it is so new, the overall impact uh, of that investment is not uh, fully measured at the present time. So our research gives us the opportunity to begin to evaluate and measure the uh, impact and the return on the investment uh, in simulation programs. So this now gives you a fairly complete overview of what we're doing on the simulation. Everything from our local programs through to our international programs, the leadership that Dr. Denstad and his team are bringing to all of that. Uh, it's going to evolve fairly quickly now over the course of the next year and certainly over the next year or two afterwards as we start to look at the facilities. Uh, keep an eye on all of this. It's been wonderful to present this to you uh, and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next Dean's video newsletter.